And so it's the 4th of July, and I'm going to the lake to go see my family, and I get pulled over, and then they were like, um, I, I don't know why, but they were just like, they were, they, they, were, they were suspecting me for something. They were like, sir, step out of the car. I'm like, okay, what's up? And then so, uh, lo and behold, like just long story short, they were like, they fast forward a little bit, and they were like, they were asking me if I had any drugs uh, on me, if I know, if, if I have any drugs or if I know anybody that does drugs. <laughs> like okay, and then I'm like, no, and then they was they were uh, later on fast forward again, they then asked if I if I give them consent to for them to search my car, what did I say? Mm-hmm. No. And then they were like, okay, fine, just go ahead and sit sit there on the side of the road. Yo, I am Tim Geddes. I'm here with Louis Manchacha. Yes. Yes. Manchacha. And this is musing with Manchacha. So, uh, hey, Tim, um, I was wondering, I, you said in your stories that you, uh, you go down to Texas sometimes. So uh-huh. Yeah, if you're, ever in the neighbor- if you're ever in the neighborhood, I would just, um, you know, I was kind of hoping that you could totally host my show, Let Tim Host. I appreciate that. But you got to be a little less creepy about it. You got to just be like, hey, dude, you can host. Don't do the whole, like, <laughs> thing. It's creepy. You're creepy. Figure it out, dude. Don't be creepy. What's your topic? Gun control. Oh my god, we're doing that topic again? I thought right, we no. did that. We we're didn't gonna do, do we that. Didn't we, do we, we did that. We did that topic on episode four. Well it's uh it's We did the age for gun control. That was Eric's topic. No, no, about. no, that that was uh when that girl, that little girl No, I'm uh, talking about the... I'm talking about laws. Not not how you know, is it what age should you be able to have a firearm yeah. and use a firearm? I'm talking about what laws should be in place. So if we were ma- if we were making the laws, basically, what would, yeah. we, what would we put down in the in, in writing in, in stone? Yeah, because a lot of people, there are people out there that think you should not have any guns. Mm-hmm. There are people that think that you should have almost any gun, if not any gun, and, and in between. How, right. how should it be? Go. How should it? Uh, I, I wouldn't know how to tell a person like, yeah, you can have a gun, and like with background checks or. Or even a psychological evaluation. I mean, you can't tell what they're going to be thinking next year. True. I, I mean, mean uh, no one's a murderer until they kill someone. All right. Like, how could you make a law? It's very strange. But These then again, you don't checks. want everybody running around with guns. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that's kind of what the whole Second Amendment, Second Amendment is about. It's supposed to make sure that... It's basically saying that the population should be owning guns in order for a... The, the the people not how, to be how do we ruled know? by the government in such a but how do how do we know what they meant when they wrote down that law? Well, I mean, we know we know we know we know the history behind it. We know that the mm-hmm. government should not they they these the founders felt like the government the people should not be afraid of the government. The government should be afraid of its people. Yeah, true. Yeah, so there's my two cents. <laughs> I mean, just saying, like, uh, so. Um, well, like basically, the American a new second American Revolution should happen because the Americans want it to happen. It's basically what's going to come down to, right? Are you talking about dethroning <laughs> the government? I, I, I think <laughs> it's going to get to the point and the we're dethroning the government. Yeah. Let's overthrow. You it. know, you know that's that's against the law. It's treason. <laughs> yes. It's treason. It's treason. Yes. And but, I didn't even know that. Shit. Yes, but, but wait, but that, you, isn't that part of like the whole Declaration yeah. of Independence? No, hey, no, do you that? can change uh, I, government, if, but you can't overthrow government. You have no, to, no, no, don't, no, 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 no. Don't you if, have if to you, overthrow if in you, order to change it? If it becomes a police state, and you are under the boot of tyranny. You are. It is not your country anymore. Ah. That's don't you that's where your allegiance ends. That's where it's no longer. Oh, you know, obey the law as much as there but is it, no law. There's okay. no because law would protect me against and defend me mm-hmm. from tyranny. Okay, but like I'm just saying, isn't that like a thing where don't you have to overthrow the government in order to, to implement a new one? Yes. So and you would have to, and you would so, have to kill them, and people are going to die. So and that's why? So take. okay. So I, I, I guess I understand the whole the whole word treason is so bad. It's so like, yeah. yeah, treason's bad. But George Washington that. was a traitor. <laughs> what? George Washington was a traitor. He was seen. Cite your sources. He he, he <laughs> was going to be held for treason. Really? And killed. Yes. British when? by the British. They were going to kill him. Oh shit! 
Really? Yeah. Everyone who signed the Declaration of Independence were wanted to be killed on the spot. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. True. Uh, and John Hancock actually, on purpose, yeah. signed his name. Big as shit. Yeah, big as hell, just to like, yeah. Come get me. Come get me. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's, but they were all, a lot of them and were that's all what the United, though, right? That's yeah. what the United States can, comes down to. Because, it, again, it, it was, I'm not choosing to live under your rule. And if you are not let, you're not willing to let me live in a free way, come kill me. Hmm. And that's what it's going to come down to if, if we fall into that boot. Because I, I don't know. I feel these days watching the news and seeing how police officers are gunning are people down. Gunning people down. All the goddamn time. Un, well, unarmed. Yeah. Unarmed. On Facebook. There it's have been on more, Facebook. It's like all these feeds and shit. Like I, I had to look this up because I could not believe it. I was like, bullshit. Are you talking about the one in Dallas where he had his hands up and he was walking towards the officer and he oh. wouldn't stop so the officer shot him? Dead. Yeah, I think so. I think Patty right. Patty said that on the last podcast, though. Yeah, that happened. she said. Oh, that. I thought that was another instance. That was an oh, that's a separate instance. I thought yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah, that happened because that one happened in Fort Worth, right? The one that Patty talked about. It I was think the exact so. Same thing, except it was yeah. Um, yeah. I just I just don't understand like yeah. why would you, and why more would... people have died from police since nine eleven than people who died on nine eleven. <laughs> Holy shit! Really? Yeah, I had to look that up. I had to make sure because that sounded too, but it's true. And, and so I'm thinking to myself, who's gonna kill me? Tomorrow, the terrorists or the police? And have any of the officers <laughs> been persecuted? None. Or charged? It's very hard to get them. If you want your your police officer, to, the one who wrongs you to get investigated, say he smelled like marijuana. Because that is the only thing that will make cops turn on cops is drugs. Because it pays. Damn. It's that whole fucking like, bullshit. You like know, the like, one time when I got and, fucking searched and seizured on my fucking car. Yeah, just because like I was drive, Just because I drove, drove. Just because I drove a fucking Lincoln town car. You know. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, I was yeah. like, do you got? He's like, can we? Uh, to 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 be honest, Louis, that that looked like a throwaway car. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just for one one drug. One, one drunk deal. Like, yeah, one, one, like, well, like a drop off. A drop, yeah. Like a dropping. Okay. Yeah. yeah so but I'm going. I, I'm yeah. going to the lake. I'm yeah. Going, and I'm driving and to the for lake, someone though. who's, I have always been a law abiding citizen. I've always. Been that guy to, oh, but no, I can't do that. It's illegal. And that stopped me from even thinking about doing things because you don't break the law. The law is the law. Everyone agrees to obey the law, so let's obey. People who don't obey the law go to jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who don't obey the law, they do time in prison, become felons, and have their lives ruined. Yeah. So don't break the law. But as I am who a person who doesn't break laws, I've still been... Uh, I would still categorize my experiences with police officers as not good. Yeah. Not not good at all. And I I am almost I am when I when I see a police officer like I said previously like, yeah. they're not friends. I know that Yeah. If I if I do not protect myself and invoke my civil rights and make sure that things are done in a in a manner that is professional and my interaction with the police is going to be professional, but I will insist on not I will not give an inch. Yeah, we've had a lot of police stories. I, I've had a lot of police stories because I've been like I drove a I guess picture on screen. I drove a, a Lincoln Town Car, mm -hmm. and it looks pretty shady, like I will say. And I'm a Mexican guy. It, it, but it was, like we it had was a town we car, had, and it was his. It was the the car that your parents, my grandfather, your grandfather gave you, and that was your car. Yeah, my grandfather to my father, my father to me. See, yeah. Uh, uh, so suddenly, it's it's bad to have an heirloom. <laughs> so what happened was, me and David and I were driving. Uh, um, down the street, and then there was a, the red light was out. It was completely like just off, and so they had like a stop sign there, a four way stop, and it's like well, it was like really late at it night. Was late it was, night. Late, it was we late. We were the only night. car at we the were, intersection too. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were literally the only car in that fucking road, just straight up. It was it was no no cars in the street. And then I go in there, I, I make a full stop, and I know I made a full stop because I you know you you, know, you the, feel that the car, the car like jerk you know, and then you yeah. yeah. And so, and I and I remember strategically, like I didn't even know there was a car behind me or somewhere. Like I didn't even know that. No, he, 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 was, know he, he was he was over there by the laundromat to our yeah. left, to your left. Yeah, and he uh, was not visible. No. And so I didn't even know there was a police uh, car there. I really did not. And so, like, we, I did, I did. Just, I remember, I know for a fact, that I stopped because not only was it that, but I do strategically remember looking both ways, just just because out of habit. Yeah. And so then, even though there's no cars, I still look both ways, and then I and then I started going, and then next thing you know, we heard whoop whoop. And yeah. they're like the lights flashing, the red and blue lights. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, what the fuck? I don't even know what I did. What, what's wrong? I was like, nothing's yeah. expired. Nothing. I wasn't speeding. Mm -hmm. And I did a full stop. 
So why am I being pulled over? And so I get pulled over, and then the the cop is like, "Hey, you didn't uh, stop all the way. You know that's a four wheel." Like as a four wheel. I'm like, and so what happened was like, uh, I was trying to, I was beginning to argue back with him. I'm like, yeah. and then and then David stops like, no, He's like just don't argue. And then you said, well, you said, I, I what did you say? How what did you, what I said, did, what, was what I said to effect was, like, don't. Uh, I said, uh, I turned to him. I was in a passenger side. Passenger. I said, yeah. Don't argue with him. Just take the ticket so we can move on our way and we'll deal with it in court. Yes, that's what that you said. That is what I said. Yes. Because you, it's your word against them. And for some reason, for having a badge, they have more rights. I know. And, trust they, have me, more, that they, and are, they have more credibility. They have too. more credibility. Yeah. And they're people. They're just like you and me. Some of them are college educated. A lot of them aren't. All right. It's not like they're high and mighty and well trained. Sometimes they're not that well trained. You have more training going to hairdressers. Uh, hairstylist than you do to police officers. Shit, that should say something. I was at a I was at a police and graduation yesterday. A, uh, one of my friends graduated from the police academy, uh-huh. and they looked like they did a lot of training. But okay, Fort Worth or Arlington? Uh, I was just some. Uh, just uh, and what, we're not what gonna, kind of training? We're, not gonna, th- we're what, not gonna go into that. What kind uh, of training are are you are you talking about? That you I've think seen them, they did? I've seen them. I saw them do lo- operate the jaws of life. They were learning how it feels like to be tased, how to get how it feels like on the pepper spray. How to Why? Submit, how do Why is 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 a civilian to... going to tase or pepper spray you? You are more likely to get tased or pepper sprayed by another officer, if not shot, by another officer. Huh. In January, by the end of the January of this year, there are more. There were there were like thirty odd people killed by police officers, and two uh, police officers had died. One shot himself, and the other was shot by another cop. Friendly fire. Huh? Friend, no, he he just rolled up on him, and he he didn't know he was a cop, and he shot him. Shit. Damn. And, but suddenly everyone everyone gave a shit when he it turns out he was a cop. <laughs> it's like it's like the whole South Park episode. It's like, like, oh, so they don't it care does about go both ways, motherfucker. They, they can't, it's like that South Park episode. Whenever they thought they were like, oh, he's like, oh, he's black. Nobody cares. But then as soon as he find out he was actually white, I was like, oh no, everyone media blew up and everything <laughs> like that. Was, no, but uh, there was a I have a, a lot like uh, like I said, I was driving that Lincoln car. I have a lot of other cops stories and so stuff. did you take that ticket to court or no 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 they no, left me off with the warning no, you know what happened no, uh, I, no yeah see what happened with when david said that the guy was like huh what's that and he like flashes flashlight on his face and everything no like, he didn't flash it on my face he he did this kind of tried to look at everything and i didn't look at him and <laughs> if he would have asked for my id i would have declined you don't have to There's i don't no have reason. to give you my you're ID. pulling the driver over not you not the passenger. oh why aren't you gonna give my id i don't answer questions and why then, aren't you asking questions you have nothing to hide I don't want to answer any more questions, and I don't want to be interrogated without my attorney present. I do not consent to any searches of my person or property. There you go. That's yeah. all you tell them, because they are not your friends. And then there was the other time was like, whenever it was on the 4th of July, I'm going to the lake, and then I get pulled over. But because this one's a legitimate reason, I had actually, I didn't even know that my uh, inspection was expired. Mm-hmm. It was expired by literally like four days, because it expired on what, June 30th. Don't they and give it's you the Fourth of July, and it's a ten. Yeah, by the way, there's a ten like day that. grace period. Yeah, by the way. yeah. There's a ten day grace period, so it's the Fourth of July, and I'm going to the lake to go see my family, and I get pulled over, and then they were like, um, I, I don't know why, but they were just like they were they they were, they were suspecting me for something. They were like, "Sir, step out of the car." I'm like, oh, "Okay, what's up?" And then so, uh, lo and behold, like just long story short, they were like, they fast forward a little bit, and they were like, they were asking me if I had any drugs uh, on me. If I know if if I have any drugs or if I know anybody that does drugs, <laughs> like okay, and then I'm like, no, and then they was they were uh, later on fast forward again, they then asked if I if I gave them consent to for them to search my car, what did I say? No. no. And then they were like, okay, fine, just go ahead and sit sit there on the side of the road, and so they dispatch a canine unit to uh, to my car. And the the canine, whatever that little, little um, what was it? What was that name of that dog breed? As uh, uh, German, German shepherd, shepherd? Ger- not Ger- not not a German shepherd. It was a uh, bloodhound. It was a uh, the one that Marley and me. The it start, I, think oh, it start, I did not see Marley with, and me. It starts with an L, doesn't it? A Labrador. Shepherd? Labrador. Yeah, oh, okay. that's uh, yeah, the little Labrador. He was so cute and adorable. Anyways, you can't pet the dog though. <laughs> but he pinned you. Yeah. Don't don't pet that dog. That's assaulting an officer. I didn't yeah. pet the dog. I didn't pet the dog. No. But uh, so the Labrador was uh, in there. He was he was a little chocolate lab, and he was in there like uh, uh, scratching my. Like there could have been bacon in there. He was scratching yeah. my door, and they were like, "Oh, there's something there. We got suspicion." And they searched my car. Did they touch anyways. your car? 
Uh, yes, they did. They should never touch your car. I, the, the guy, <laughs> if they do this, yeah. that, that's false indicating. You just told that dog to do that. That's illegal. Yeah, I saw and them. I saw them do that. And I would so, have taken that cop to fucking court so fast. Because either way, <laughs> even even if if the cop had no intention, I'm gonna get a paycheck out of that. I'm gonna sue your ass because the only way you can fucking learn your lesson is that you're having to pay for it. Yeah. So like, I saw the car. The, I I really think that a cop actually prompted him to do that. Yeah. That's, and by the way, that's what that's I, why I, they're not allowed to touch the car because by doing this, the dog is trained to, to investigate that. Yeah. And, and so what happened was, and this is and this is coming. My other my brother, uh, I guess I'll say his name Juan. He uh, he said to me after the incident and then he talked about it after the fact that dogs are not trained to scratch and paw at a door or anything like mm-hmm. that they're trained to sit in front of it and look at it mm-hmm. to whenever they find something yeah, that's why you have to record and the cops because they're liars know, not only that I didn't, I didn't i couldn't record them because um they told me to step out of the car and my and i was using my my phone as a gps to go to the lake because i didn't know exactly so where the, there in the car so the, the the phone was still sitting in the car and I was stepped out, and I didn't have the ability to record them. And here's another thing. And I and also uh, they it, and it, also they didn't give me access to my car. I said I asked them if I can get something out of my car. I, I was either my phone or I wanted to get either my phone or uh, a jacket or something. I don't remember. Like I, not a jacket. It was something that I wanted uh, besides the phone. That and it could have been the phone actually. That I think about it. But so that what they asked me was, hey, can I? Oh. Hey, um, I asked them if I could. Um, Actually, that's what it was. I had layers of clothes on because it was cold, like it was cooler that morning, and I wanted to take some layers oh, off and warm. put it and put it uh, inside the car. And they were like, "No, no, it's fine. Just leave it on the hood or on the on." I the don't think they can stop you from going back to no, the car. They, I mean, so, it's and well, not- the, the thing is. You can't just hold me at the side of the road for your dog to get there. Yeah, you have did. to have probable cause to keep me here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. They like for 15 minutes. I'm waiting for that canine unit to arrive. You could have sued the city in one. You could have sued the city. Yeah, yeah. and, and I would have sued the city. I would and I wouldn't have just sued for money. I'm holding them accountable. Them. Yeah. And then so God. It, and then what man, happened then after that? It was the uh, they searched my car, but they were tearing my car. They both they they broke the panel, the side panel on the the car to the door the car door they looked in there and so what the reason why i know that is because whenever i got back they let me go with the warning warning uh, for what the warning <laughs> for, for the, yeah for don't the, fucking yeah. drive down the street again because we'll <laughs> yeah. we'll rip your car apart again <laughs> yeah they let me out with the warning for the Fucker. expired uh, expired oh, uh, okay. uh, thing and so they let me go but whenever i got to the, the to the lake to finish to to hang out for the rest of my day as soon as I opened the door, I heard screws fall out of the thing because they didn't even properly put it back they, in. And they, they don't have to. They didn't even properly uh, attach the panel back mm. in. And so mm. now that panel was hanging loose. Like every single time I opened the door, the panel would get caught in the in the middle. And so it's like I have to really like push that door open and really pull it open. And I'm on the outside, you know, like it's like it gets jammed, like it's stuck. And so that car door, that car door was never fixed, and then I had to pass it on to someone who bought that car. So I'm like, you know, for five hundred dollars, for five hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah. So that family family heirloom was no longer there. <laughs> yeah, well, but yeah, uh, that's a, that's it, you know I got stopped too one time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was in this very dangerous area of DFW. Okay, called Compton. <laughs> Close, almost. If Compton had balls, it would it would look it, uh, like this. South place. Dallas, I forget the uh, name of it. It was. Um, Grand Prairie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grand Prairie is not a prairie. It's more of a desolate land of failed businesses, um, hard traders, and people with scars on their face from bar fights. God damn. And, bar fights. Uh, I did not live there at the time, and I did not go to school there. I went to school in a place called Arlington. Ah, uh, yes. Which is separated from Great... Uh, Grand, no, Grand, Prairie Grand Prairie by like one exit by by a highway that goes in between yeah, them. Okay, yeah, two eighty or whatever. I thought it was three sixty. I thought it was yeah, three sixty. Three sixty. Yeah. Um, and I was actually by the the Arlington uh, baseball team, the Ranger Stadium. The Ranger Stadium, yes. And I I was driving. That's basically at the edge. Yeah, it was it was the edge of Arlington, and by the area of of Grand Prairie. Of, Grand Prairie. Now they should really to anybody who ever wants to go to like if there's ever a World Series or some shit at that Ranger Stadium Never. have warnings. Don't go there. Don't <laughs> oh, cross. No. Don't cross under those bridges. Do not go into Grand Prairie. Okay. 
there's it is dangerous. Okay. It is not as dangerous. It's, it's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just take this with you. Yeah, take the wooden, they gave you a sword. sword. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I thought, man, I'm hungry. So, <laughs> I, no, I was I hungry. Yeah, this is gonna turn out. And I, and I, I was driving uh, in that area, and I thought, there's there has to be a jack in a box nearby. So I go by where there would be more traffic. You know more traffic going either way that way that i could see the fast food places yes and i saw jack in the box I'm like oh my god i love jack in the box so here i am and i thought to myself as i'm at the stoplight about to go under the the overpass to um grand to prairie. grand prairie to the jack in the box that's at the corner on the other side of the street okay uh-huh. highway goes over the street goes under that highway to that jack in the box okay and i thought to myself hey Wait a minute, this is Grand Prairie. Oh man. That was it. I thought <laughs> I really, you know, this isn't a nice place to be, but Jack in the Box is right there. Just grab it, come back, you'll be safe. You can eat in your car. That's how I, I was I'm not gonna eat there. I'm gonna eat in my car. <laughs> okay. So at the time I was driving this 1986 Volvo. Mm-hmm. Like uh, oh the Volvo oh, oh my God do you have a picture like I put on screen uh, probably I don't know uh, the ambassador the ambassador was, yes, yes. Oh, send we'll me look a, for the model send me a picture it's like a two forty DL no no I want the, I want the picture of your actual no Volvo. no he it's gone it's ah gone. God damn it you I can't send me a picture <sighs> no the only picture I have are like naked women posing on it so <laughs> <laughs> probably would be appropriate but I'll, uh, I'll can, I, can I, I, it, again this is not an intimidating vehicle by any means you, we should keep the picture up here like so that, as I'm talking about my my Volvo okay, okay. But so I'm gonna just basically find some picture of yes. just the I'll, same I'll, model I'll pick it out same color we'll same find color it. And, everything. and everything okay um so and, it's not the and, Volvo, but just a and we, Volvo. We had my my I had I had my fucking Jack in the Box, and I was eating, and I I actually crossed the street, got into the lane to where you can turn around and come back the other way. I did not pull any legal turn anything, and you didn't bust a bitch. No, I didn't bust a bitch. Nothing. I just did, you know signal came out moved. Oh yeah, and I signaled through that the is, lanes. I remember this story. Go ahead. I fit, go ahead. And then yeah. I I was coming back to Arlington, and again I was stopped at that same intersection where you have to go under the bridge that freeway. Of 360 and make it to Arlington. Arlington looks like a far away place to me right now. <laughs> oh and God, as, oh as I'm here, I think to myself, you know, this this looks more like a business area of Grand Prairie. So it wasn't that bad. It so didn't look it's, that bad. yeah. It yeah. looked more like uh, just office buildings, if anything. Mm-hmm. And that's when I noticed a police officer behind my vehicle. And I thought to myself, he's going to pull me over. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Not he <laughs> might pull me over. He is going, going to, to pull, pull me over. over. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I thought to myself, why could he possibly pull my re- pull me over? I, I I thought to myself, he doesn't really need a reason to pull me over. He nope. but he will. Okay. So I was basically putting everything in my car to where it's like, okay, get anything that could be suspected as a weapon in the fucking glove compartment because I don't want to get killed. All right. Um. <laughs> And by suspected, I mean like a pen or anything, any little thing. I, I was just getting out of the line of sight because I don't want him to say, hey, what's under those papers? You know, and get in trouble. Uh-huh. So as I go over, and as soon as that line turns green, his lights got to start whoop, going. Whoop. And I'm like, okay, you pulled me over. You're right. But you're not going to fucking pull me over in Grand Prairie. I made it to Arlington. <laughs> I crossed that intersection and I pulled into, uh, again, there was office buildings there by the by the stadium. And I pulled into the parking lot. So if you arrest me, my car's parked. Fuck you. Okay. Okay? I'm going to leave it. I'm you don't need to get a towed? Uh, no. It's not going to get towed. If you tow it, it was unjust because it was parked. Okay. And well so, I might add. Okay? And this okay. is a Volvo. It didn't, it's not an intimidating gangbanger vehicle. <laughs> so as I pull in, I, I put in a neutral, put in my parking brake. It was standard. Standard, yeah. Um, and I rolled down my window to about halfway. Which again, I'm I'm a re- relatively large man in a Volvo, so I'm I'm like this out my window <laughs> door because it's it's a small car, and he comes up to me, he's like, hey, uh, I pulled you over. You know, I pulled you over. Like, no, I was gonna ask you, like, why 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 did you pull me over, officer? Oh, well, you didn't signal. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I remember the story, and you know, and I remember you told me how when it happened, how you deliberately, yes, yes, you deliberately. T- yeah, yeah, and when, when I go over two lanes, I actually do that textbook move where you have to stop signaling 
and signal again to move the, to the other lane. Okay, I don't just cut across two lanes. Oh, so I, yeah. You I actually do do the signaling individually for each lane. I go mm-hmm. through that. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty damn good as a driver. All right? So I take pride in my driving. So when he says that, I immediately know. He's full of shit. I know you're lying to me. But I also know now you pulled me over for some other reason that you don't want to tell me. But I can play this game. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's play this game. So he asked for my ID, my, uh, my, my insurance. I gave it to him. And he started asking me a lot of questions. So I was like, oh, no, I'm, I didn't give him any answers. Like, oh, uh, so what are you going for? Oh, I was hungry. Oh, so you don't know anybody around here? I was just hungry, officer. I need something to eat. Because, again, <laughs> I, and then he says, oh, so I noticed you drove by that Motel 6. Apparently, there's a Motel 6 by there. I don't know. You didn't know. Yeah. And then he said, well, you know, we got reports that there's a lot of drug dealing out of that motel. What the fuck do I care? Why are you not at that motel? Like why are you, you not know at the motel? A, yeah. If there's drug dealing down fucking there, why aren't Stay you there? Down doors. Why don't you just fucking stay there until the drug dealers leave or arrest them there? Why, they're doing why the drug are dealers? you pulling me over? I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? So, again, he says, oh, you know, um, and again, while he's talking at me, it's not like he's even looking at me. He's uh, pointing his flashlight into my the back seat of my car because, I don't know, I have like papers and stuff i have illegal aliens back there or something. <laughs> he was like well, well yeah I was like, well, why are you looking at my stuff what do you want why did you pull me over you're lying to me what is the problem here but again i'm not saying this to him because i want to be professional with him because i know i'm being recorded but i really do not want him to say oh he was aggravated and then shot me okay i don't, I don't want to get shot because mm-hmm. they'll shoot you and at the end of it all he tells me well you know um uh, and he checked my insurance, checked everything. He has nothing on me. He says, well, yeah, I guess, you know, I'll just let you go with the warning. Were well, you going to write me a ticket for fucking not signaling? I would have challenged it. <laughs> and I would have seen him in court. And I would have fought him tooth and nail. But I would not have given in. So I'm very much happy. Give me the fucking ticket. I just don't want to be here anymore. Give me the ticket so I can drive away. Because legally, once you give me that ticket, we're done. Yeah. I'm done talking to you. I'm driving away. I'm not even going to ask you to go. Goodbye. He asked me, um, do you mind if I uh, search your vehicle? What? He asked you that shit? Yeah. I was like, damn. You didn't tell me that part no, of the story. He, do, you mi- do you mind if you- I search your vehicle? If- you said no, obviously. No, I said, officer, I know you're trying to do... I, do- I got- By the way, I- I see- I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about this. And at that time, I had seen one particular YouTube video about this. Uh, this lawyer was uh, doing these little videos. Uh, and he little had tips a- and tricks or something uh, like that. Or whatever. Uh, was it, the- it was like that black uh, lawyer. Um, oh no! Then I'm thinking trying about to remember who else, he is. We'll try to get a picture was... of him. And I watched his little videos on YouTube, and I I I quoted that fucking video. I was like, "Well, officer, you see, I know you're trying to do your job, but I do not consent to any searches of my person or property." And when I said that, he looked at me like, "Oh, so you go to college? Like you see the fucking UTA <laughs> sticker? You've been all you've been all over near my fucking car. Why are you harassing me?" Why am I here? This is not a nice area for me to be in. It's getting late. It was already dusk. Uh-huh. This is getting edgy, man. I don't. This is weird. This is how, like, this is how these videos on Facebook. Yeah, this is how up. videos on Facebook show turn out before them. someone gets tased in the eyeball or something, <laughs> man. I don't. I don't want to be that guy. Uh-huh. And YouTube's not going to pay for it. So why would I want to? So, and he's like, oh, so why? Why don't you want? You seem kind of nervous. Yeah, he said that shit to me too. He's like, you seem kind of nervous. 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 I'm like, like, yeah, you seem kind of nervous. Why are you nervous? Like, well, officer, I don't get pulled over. And you have, and I don't really want to, you know. Oh, and I specifically specifically said, oh, I usually don't get uh, pulled over and I'm not used to being around guns. (laughs) Is what I said to him. Because his gun was right for, Uh, I'm not used to being around firearms. You're such a fucking yeah, liar. Yeah, I'm such a fucking liar because I've been I am used to being around guns. <laughs> but I know what you're doing. You're trying to intimidate me. There's an there's an excuse. I could play a stupid ass game all day. Uh, Fuck you. I don't consent. I'm not gonna give my consent. And you put my hand in the house, I'm gonna be yelling, you fucking piece of shit, I don't give consent. I want my fucking lawyer. That way anything happens, I'm still covered. But there's nothing in my car. I could fit hardly anything in that car. Yeah, it's and so tiny. It was such a tiny car. Picture comes up again. And, <laughs> Why are you why are you attacking me? Why are you harassing me? And you have no right. And I did not consent to anything. So he finally gives me my paperwork back. Your insurance, your and, ID. Yeah. And and 
he, he wanted to continue, I think. And I, I was like, oh, okay, well, uh, thanks a lot, officer. I'm, uh, thank you for my paperwork. Kind of like next step. I want to go. He's like, well, okay, well, you have a good day. And all the while, again, he did the last look around, you know. And I, and all the while, I ha- he gave me the paper and my ID, and I just held him. I just kept my hands on the steering wheel. Ten and two. Ten and two. Because I, because I'm sure he was probably gonna. Oh yeah, well, what's going? You know, I'm like, no, I'm waiting for you to leave. I'm not. I'm not continuing this. We're not talking. I'm not being a buddy with you. You're not my friend. I'm wait. I'm. I'm here. I have my documents, and I'm waiting for you to go back to your car. Before I start getting ready to leave. And that's when he left. And I put my stuff down. I put put my paperwork back. I put my car, my ID in my wallet. And I did the, a 32 fucking point exit from my parking spot. Because I didn't want to give him another excuse to fucking pull me over. I did the whole, you know, fucking pull out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pull that uh, <laughs> and I, I pulled out and I went. I just went. I know Arlington is this way. You go farther enough. You hit home. But. Get the fuck away from Grand Prairie, cause just by being near Grand Prairie, oh no one. Well, You're know, up to no good. He probably got shot because he was doing drugs out of that Motel Six by that Jack in a Box. Yeah, cause everyone apparently knows that except me. So everyone, everyone, don't go to a Jack in a Box in Grand Prairie, <laughs> especially it's by Motel Six that they deal drugs out of, cause the cops know about it and will pull you over and try to search your car for it. 